Um, this transition, we scrapped it. It's gonna be bigger, taller, better, stronger, faster, better looking, more money. Okay, what's going on guys? We got a carrier installed today, just a carrier condenser, carrier coil. Uh, we're gonna keep the train furnace that it sits on, that it's gonna sit on. Anyways, uh, we had a little bit of a late start to this install. I don't think we got to the job site till about 10.30. So 10.30 or 11 o'clock. But we got it done. And I'm headed to get some McDonald's right now because I'm starving and I really just want a milkshake. So they're probably gonna tell me that their ice cream machine is broken. But uh, yeah, make sure you stay tuned for today's video. Rocking and rolling. Or do we really ball out? $11 a bag. We're definitely not, but that's some bougie stuff right there. Smashed my finger last night. We're going to the riches. We are. So you never know. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we're still not doing it. Hey, you guys want to pay an extra $40? That'll be a tip. You're welcome for the rock. New edition. <clears throat> Easy job today. Condenser with a pad rock. We got a coil. Uh, look at that. All right, let's get to it. Show you the inside. So here's a big coil. I think I have enough buckets. Can we put that in in the wheat? Yeah, we're uh, we're going through it with the home. And randomly, she goes. Can you get it done in a week? Can we, can we get it, it done in a week? It's going to be done in about four hours, lady. But anyways, yeah, we're about to go do it. Most important part. This thing should be empty. We will see. Bucket with the lid to sit on. You know the deal. There's no pad before, so we'll put some rock, put a pad, new condenser, clean up all this. It's a slight transition there, but I don't know. Almost seems like their metal is just off a little bit. We might reuse that, we might not. Just change the coil, pretty self explanatory Drive it! So we got the light, we got the trash bucket, install box, install bag, sheet metal bag. All right. Okay, we're back out here. Let's see if there's anything on this. Let's get rid of all this real quick. <laughs> Look at this. I mean. Okay, so I found the valves. I'm pressing in on the schrader. There's absolutely nothing. Um, this thing's welded on there. So I'm using my lock and my wrench. And uh, loosen it. Cleaned up a little bit around it. 
Come in here and it's loose already. You gotta love it. Wine says whatever we want to do with it. Uh, okay. Let's pry this thing out. How do you feel about getting this out of the way? Coupling it again. They already did it once. I don't see why not. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Uh, we got them. I brought some. Yeah. Wide open, so watch your <laughs> finger. <laughs> Good for the fingertips. Yeah. Did I actually have that? This just popped out. Good thing it's the intake. Uh, hopefully we can leave the exhaust where it's at. Look at the reducer, the three to two reducer. It's, it looks so weird. I'm trying to, one. first of all, they got a coupling onto the, they use the, oh, these idiots, they're just wasting. They use the eccentric reducer. That's supposed to go horizontal as if, you know, up there so it could drain. Because if you put a normal reducer horizontal, it would, the water would just build up. But this one's flat on the back, and they just used it here. I'm I'm upset about that because we can barely find those sometimes. Forgot the GoPro, but a couple pry bars smacking it, cussing at each other. Get on your wow. no. and she's free. Obviously, when doing the coils, you want to inspect the heat exchanger. Okay, we got foam tape instead of silicone. I think it looks better, does a better job. Um, this transition, we scrapped it. It's gonna be bigger, taller, better, stronger, faster, better looking, more money. Um, we just decided to cut the drain. Here and here, we're not gonna redo that fitting. We're really not here for the furnace anyways, but humidifier went that way. We're gonna bring it right here by the bricks. Uh, along with our coil and we'll drop it into the top of that. So, get her looking real nice for him. No pad, no rock, just mud. That'll be fine. What the fuck? What in the fuck are we, people doing? Well, I need a little piece of seven eights and I'm not taking it down for that, so let's get this bad boy out. Okay, I got my seat. We're gonna make a couple swedges. I don't have a reducer, so that's what we're doing there. It'll be fine. Swedge this one, that one, and the one coming off the carrier looping line service valve towards nitrogen ready to rock. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. Okay, nitrogen's flowing. Let's do it.
three quarter street 90 into a reducer with a little stub. We'll brace that up. Okay, filling it up, leak checking. Full disclosure, I had a leak on the back of that. Uh, I probably should have put a reducer there, but it'll be fine. And on the inside, I had one as well. We'll straighten that up. Leak check, I put it on the pump, wire it up. Okay, it's been a good enough leak check. I don't feel like getting an extension cord out. So we're doing this. Even though there's a plug right there, but I don't care. Okay, because we got a really late start today and we're pretty far from the shop, all that. We're uh, crunched on time, so we got, we are going through the manifold. One hose, two hose, double hose on the system. Uh, here in about 15, maybe 10 minutes, I will take this one off. Close the ball valve, take it off, put my micron gauge on there, open the ball valve, and we'll see what we're working with for micron gauges. Micron reading, that is. This one really turned out money. Uh, I might do something about that. I don't know if I love how that looks, but filter dryer inside. We got the new plenum cross broke. Silicone on the front. Uh, we had to do inside flanges just so we could meet that. New drain. Um, we're not here to mess with the furnace. I don't know what you guys think about it. Don't really care. They glued that in there. We're not touching that, okay? Three quarter C PVC to PVC adapters to them. New drain to the floor drain. Also with the coil dropping into it. Here's the humidifier drain. We ran it in front of the furnace. And we just stopped it right there. Bottom tubing comes down, three quarter. PVC hard piped over the drain. New humidifier drain. Um, intake is back in place. Put is on, and uh, looks good. Drake did all this, by the way, when I was brazing, doing the outside. Got the drains all looking good, straight up and down. Plenum, he built the plenum at the shop and put it on. You gotta love it. On the inside, I would leave that seam up top so you didn't see it. I mean, so it didn't drip, but. Absolutely hate when these service valves are crank so tight that you gotta use your Allen keys, but cracking the charge. Liquid line first. I have my ball valve shut still, so we didn't lose any vacuum. Good to go. Rocking and rolling. It just started, so we're gonna give it a little bit. Putting on some heat already. I gotta get some zip ties. If I could go back in time, that liquid line would be a little shorter, a little tighter, but you know, it is what it is. Loaded down. Obviously, got to clean it up, put some things back, but that's the end of the day for you. Go make sure this thing's running right. I mean, that's beautiful. Come on. What up? I'm telling them it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. You just walk in and it kind of smacks you in the yeah. face. Wait. And then you come around the side and you see what you're really talking about. We had to put this patch, that's the word I'm looking for, with foam tape under it. Uh, there was a little gap, what can you do, you know? It's a carrier coil on a hard to stop a train. 
little bit low. Pressure actually looks good, but our temps was not. We just need a little bit of the old R22 inch refrigerante. Got it on the scale. And we're gonna juice her up. This is open, this is open. All out. Yes, sir. Before and after pictures. I always get real crazy with the after. Uh, <laughs> I'm always so proud of it. Anyways, that does it for today. Get a drink. Uh, that's a wrap. All right, guys, if you like that video, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, I'm gonna see the damage of this when I get home today. Uh, if you're, I mean, if you're at the end of the video and you're not subscribed, like, what are you doing? You're obviously, you're enjoying the videos. You're liking what you see. Hit the subscribe button. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow on the next one. Peace.